Jason and Honor are madly in love and want to get married. It's just lovely to have somebody on my side that's always there with me, you know. And that's what I love about her. So, she means the world to me. And that's why I want to marry her. It's been a busy year for the court couple, with Jason working hard on his new business and the arrival of baby Sienna. It takes a long time to save for a wedding, so they're getting €10,000 towards their big day. That's on the basis that Jason is going to make all the decisions. But there's a catch. They've agreed in the presence of a lawyer that Jason will do it all. Oh my God, how is she going to manage this? She likes to be in control. No, that... it's not all right, Mum. All right? I know what I like. Okay. So I, I know what I like. So if I know what I like and I see it, I'll get it. No contact, no phones, and Jason must do it in just three weeks. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's my no. choice. You're trying it on. How much does Honor really trust him? Mm. It's going to get it wrong. And with just his fishing buddies to help him, can Boat Mad Jason make it happen? Can he pull it off? Of course I can. Well, I'll kick your ass if you don't. <laughs> you can't say fairer than that. Sure, it's my wedding, isn't it? <laughs> Anything goes, just don't tell the bride. Jason and Honora met three years ago when a neighbour played Cupid and set them up on a date. You were handsome. I remember going, oh, he's, he's handsome, right? You know, so I gave him a chance. Fell madly in love with her straight away. Aww. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I'll try hang on to this one. Okay. So. In no time at all, Jason had moved in with Honora and her daughter Aoife. Moved in together after two months. Yeah, <laughs> And two we've been months. here ever since. He packed yeah. his bags and moved in. Yeah. Said, what was the point in paying rent in that place in when you have a house? <laughs> <laughs> and what started as rent aid blossomed into a great love affair. I always felt lost. And it was only whenever I met an and Aoife that I kind of became a whole. Do you know? Okay. I, I, I became... Huh? Well, I did. Like, I just... And soon three became four with the birth of baby Sienna. And now, just ten weeks after her arrival, Jason and Honor have decided it's time to tie the knot. My mum and Jason are going to be getting married and I'm very excited because I'm going to be the flower girl. It's about time they got married, you know. It's gone on too long talking about it and not doing it. She loves him and he loves her, I know that. I can see it in him. He simply has the biggest heart in the world. Even as he sometimes gets it wrong. <laughs> Jason proposed after a year together, but he didn't get it quite right. He promised me a ring. And I just thought he'd surprise me one day, and uh, he did. He surprised me by pulling up on a boat that he used the ring money for. With this boat, I thee wed. Let's hope the ten grand doesn't go the same way. I don't think I'll have any problem with it, you know? I don't think so. I hope she is happy with it, because that, that ultimately is what matters, that they're both happy, and I'm sure it'll be highly entertaining and unusual. So what kind of wedding is Anor hoping for? She wants to be a princess for the day, and she wants a fairy tale, and she wants it. She wants it all, really. She's very strong-minded. She knows what she likes. She knows what she wants. She'll get what she wants eventually. <laughs> well, I suppose if you were to ask me, is on or high maintenance? Probably, yeah. She'll kill me. <laughs> I've ended up, you know, becoming this organised little bit of a control freak, not total control freak. So maybe this is my gift to you. I'm going to, con I'm going to enjoy having full control of something in my life. <laughs> yeah. It's my gift. It's my gift. It's my gift. And he's not going to get it wrong. <laughs> I love you. Mm. We'll see you in three weeks. If I don't get it absolutely perfectly right. <laughs> you know, for the rest of us. You know, I'll, I'll be nagged for the rest of my life about it. <laughs> <laughs> So no there. pressure. <laughs> With a suitcase full of clothes and an ear full of ultimatums, Jason prepares to leave for three weeks. The next time he sees his girls will be the day of the wedding. No regrets. Can't wait. This is what I've been wanting since I met Anor. So uh, it's our time now to get married and hopefully I can get it done. We'll be okay. We miss them already though. <laughs> this will be the longest they've ever been apart and the first time Jason has ever left baby Sienna. At the ripe old age of 28, he's moving back in with his mammy. The next morning, Jason rounds up his crew. Well, I have my best man Dermot, the 
you don't necessarily need to have planned five, ten weddings in the past. If you planned that many for yourself, there must be something wrong. Um, and I also have Rob. It's a challenge and a half, but you know, it's, it's not a problem. Like. Between the three of us, I hope I get it done, you know. <laughs> okay, well, I suppose we have to make up our budget. Yeah. We have ten grand. I suppose we better think up the things that we're going to need. So, I suppose the first thing we're going to need is a venue. They won't remember everything. They won't. I actually have to come to terms with that, that they won't remember everything. Cake. What's okay. it called? Wedding yeah. cake. Dress. That'd be handy. Flowers. Will we have flowers? The main thing that I think I'd worry about is that he might forget something major and suddenly remember it when it's too late. Wedding rings? Wedding rings. rings. Very good point. The three of them, I know one thing. They wouldn't want to let me down because I would kill him. We believe her. Well, it depends uh, where we have it, though, you know? Yeah. There's not much more to a wedding, is there? Not much else, is there? Oh, a church. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh while you can, boys. Thirty-year-old Honor is an independent woman who has always known what she wants, and her wedding is no different. She's brought bridesmaid Cloda to Hayfield Manor to set the standard that she will be expecting. Hi. My name is Etienne. I'm the general manager. She wants sophistication. She wants five stars. She wants champagne. She wants, uh, you know, ladies in hats. Uh, she wants everything just, just so. I'd like it to be somewhere classy. Uh, definitely has to be five star. The manor dining room is very much Anor's idea of classy. So this is Orchid's restaurant. Oh, um, that's beautiful. This yeah, is where gorgeous. we'll set up the, the actual function on, on the night itself. The chandeliers. Uh, yeah, mm. it's not a big function room. It's nice mm. and intimate, so it, it really works well. Yeah, mm. it's, very, it's really very luxurious, good. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Surroundings are beautiful. It'd yeah. be lovely to have drinks outside. Yeah, do a string quartet for you outside then. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. That'd be really you know, nice, yeah. yeah. It's your day and it needs to be perfect. Mm. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully. Being out on a boat on the middle of the sea somewhere, I think that would be probably one of the worst things he could do. The worst thing and the first thing. The lads are ocean bound to check out a very different venue. It's actually out on an island. It's called Shirkin Island. Um, it's actually a hotel that's out there. The, the things I love about it is she's going to have to come down and she's going to have to actually get onto a boat and be ferried the whole way across to an island uh, to actually have her wedding, which is something that she'll not even have an idea about. Excited. I'm really excited about this venue. This is the one that I really, really want to have. But is Jason more excited by the vessel than the venue? Hey! If he wants to show something mad and crazy, I'll go with it. But please, God, don't get my hair wet. <laughs> I'm not too sure how Nora will get on with it with her uh, wedding dress on. But sure, it's my wedding, isn't it? <laughs> Try telling that to Anor. Wedding venues are limited on Shirkin Island. And by limited, we mean there's only one. If he wants to have a wedding here, the Islanders Rest Guest House is the only option. I'd hate an old hotel. Old and damp and dreary and cheap. If it looks cheap, then I don't want to know it because then it makes me look cheap. Jason, this is our function room right. here, overlooking the harbour. And That's a nice view, lads, isn't it? We set up the a... bride is five star. The groom is chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. Function room here can take up to about 80 people. At a push, we can do 100. Right, OK. OK, lads, this is where we'd hold the afters, the right. music. Would you deck out this room a bit? We can spruce it up and we can get um, banners done up and balloons. Have you... Banners and balloons? What about some jelly and ice cream? OK, very Perfect. good. It is lovely here though, isn't it? It's fabulous, it's yeah. Fantastic. Back at Hayfield Manor, Anor is loving the luxury. If he's not careful, Jason could have a mutiny on his hands. Oh, we're in the master bedroom now. And through this door here, we've got your private sitting room as well. It's classy, it's beautiful. It's just, you know, it's, I feel like a superstar. I think if you're gonna stay there on your wedding night, the room, the, the bride room has to be classy. Wait a minute, the Islanders Rest has a bridal suite too. Wow, it's a lovely view here, isn't it? Okay lads, this is our honeymoon suite. This will be your room on the night. Do you think Gunnar would go for this type of room? Do you know from staying where you've stayed on holidays and that kind of thing, would this be something she'd be into? Or? Well, it's a lovely room, isn't it? Yeah, it's grand. It's really nice. 
If he books it, he might have the shortest honeymoon in history. Yeah, exactly. He knows I wouldn't go anything under a five star. We normally stay in about three or four star hotels, but we've stayed in an awful lot worse places. He'd have to make whatever he has a five star. I think like if we jazzed it up for, yeah, you know, it would be really nice. Like what? I don't know. Like, do you know if we put in rose petals and flowers and. But I just hoped he'd know that you know the bedroom and that that's. If he wants fun, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You could probably get a very good deal on two single beds as well, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Might he need them? <laughs> <laughs> Hope I won't. He won't need two beds. He might need two rooms. Nora's going to be just happy to get married. So I don't, she, she wouldn't react bad to it, I don't think. Think again. Jason's planning to invite 100 guests to the reception and a further 150 to the afters. So Jason has to hustle and try to save money where he can. Okay. How much is the corkage? Corkage would normally work out at eight euros a bottle. Eight euros a bottle. Okay. I mean, can you throw in the corkage for free? I mean, that would be brilliant. Okay, I'll do that. You'll throw in the corkage? I'll throw in the corkage. There's a bit of a Del Boy in me. If there's a deal to be had, I'll definitely get it. Because yeah, I like to get the best value for money. What's the best price now you can do on this? Four grand. Still too much. Though. Still too much. Yeah, still budget. budget. There's five hundred. There's five hundred. Yeah, but there's five hundred euros between our, us and our budget. Even though you're going to jazz up the place a bit, mm -hmm. we're going to have to spend quite a bit of money on getting the honeymoon suite, like really Which romantically, really wanted, yeah, the yeah, way exactly. I want it. We're really stuck. And if you can, if you turn around and tell me it's three fifty, is a on, great possibility that we'll be coming back half. here. I got a brilliant price here. I don't know if it's actually within my time frame of doing it. If you're going to have the venue, the wedding here, right. in Cherkin, I would need to know in the next 24 hours. It's not exactly five star, but I love the whole idea of coming out here by boat. Three and a half grand is a steal, but he needs to be very sure before he books. The deadline gives him a day to look at other venues, and knowing how Anor likes a touch of class, he checks out the Inchidani Lodge and Spa in West Cork. Wow. Wow. Well. Everything that you see out in the room today, the chair covers, the centerpieces, they're all complimentary on the day. Wow. Inchidani is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it really has the wow factor. It's what Anor loves. Oh, she'd love it. Probably have trouble getting her out of here, would you? <laughs> You'd be in her good books forever. Amy, the wedding coordinator, needs time to put together a package and promises to get back to him before tomorrow with her best offer. Shurkin's my dream place. That's a place I'd love to get married. But or would definitely prefer to be in a Jadoni. But if she didn't know about this place and I took it to Shurkin, I'm sure she'd be over the moon. Coming up, Jason books a dream venue. But who's dream? Have you made a decision? Anor predicts the future. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And lads will be lads. And I'm really pissed, and I just want to get more pissed. Sailing fanatic Jason and his fiancée Anor are getting married, and he has to plan everything. But with just over two weeks to go, Captain Jason and his crew have booked nothing. He is mulling over two very different venues, and the decision is crucial. While Jason is waiting on the price from Inchidani, the bridal party go dress shopping. And of course, our high maintenance girl knows exactly what she'd like. Anor, have you anything in mind for your wedding dress? Yes. Okay. OTT. OTT. Good. We love OTT. <laughs> but whilst she can try, she can't buy. I like it. I do like it. But it's not the one. But I need a bit more oomph. Meanwhile, Jason and his boys are taking their first trip to a bridal shop. The dress, of course, has to fit me properly. If it doesn't fit me properly, I will, that's just can't happen. She's about here. Very good. Right. She's about 
<laughs> all right, that's, I know okay. that size exactly. Right. Yeah. And that's about all I have. Is she dark? And with measurements like that, what could possibly go wrong? I'd have to have it sort of princessy. I know it sounds so OTT, but uh, that's me. <laughs> Jason would love a pirate queen, but he's shopping for the princess bride. And Cinderella's closet loves a princess. Princess Sleeping Beauty. This is Snow White, of course, is Cinderella herself. And finally, we have Princess Ariel. The mermaid. Correct. I think they're a little bit OTT, don't you? And OTT is Honor's middle name. She wants the biggest dress in the shop. And, oh, this one? This one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, That's all OTT. You like your planes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Again, you've yeah. got your sparkle. Yeah. It's raining sparkles. <laughs> Should we manage to get round for the day in that? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at it sparkle. <laughs> um, I don't want to fall in love with it. But leave it to Jason, and the princess may not get her fairy tale ending. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that a sarcastic wow? Or? No, no, it's just wow. Like it's. Uh, what do you think? It'd be a bit OTT for an hour, wouldn't it? OTT maybe, but with veils, meringues and diamante, this dress was tailor-made for his bride-to-be. Oh, look. And it's like the diamonds are falling down onto the dress. Yeah. Do you know? I really don't think an hour will like, you know, the see through netty stuff. Jason decides that his princess Honor might be more of a plain Jane. This is an exquisite gown. It's simple, right. elegant, but it also has lots going on. That's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. What? It's beautiful. Like. I definitely think that's the one for an or. 100%. 100% think that's the one for an or. If he, if he got me the plain one night, you know, I'd be all sad now because I've tried this on. Prince Charming has made his mind up. €750 Euro for the dress, veil and shoes is a good price. As long as he spent it on the right dress. All right, let's do it. Yes. Oh, don't oh, cry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I would. <laughs> oh, come on, sis. You'll oh. <laughs> be all right. <laughs> I'm sobbing too much. Babies and right. weddings and everything. <laughs> it's going to get it wrong. I really didn't expect I just that never thought a dress no, would I, do I it. Of course, it Yikes. doesn't help that this, this period of time after having the baby either, mm. which is very important because you want to feel perfect and mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. No, because she's going to get it wrong with that oh, even Tony is fun. Faith, faith. She could take it quite hard. I mean, if That's you got her one of the first dresses, that kind of style, I don't know. Mm. But it's my day. Oh. Yeah. I think that's just the dress. It was just like, it's, he's not here. You know, he's not. I can't ring him or call him, or that's one of the things I probably I know I loved so much about him. Like that, he's always there, and for the first time now, he's actually not there for me. And uh, usually, I'm a hard, hard cookie, and it's broken me down to be honest. <laughs> Unaware that his hard cookie has turned marshmallow, Jason awaits a reply and quote from the Inchidani Lodge. In the meantime, they weigh up the pros and cons between the classy honor friendly hotel and the budget option on Shirkin Island. And it is really what in the word love. Right? She'd love to have the glam style and the glamour. What's the pros of Shirkin? So you can weigh them up against in it, don't you? Um, there's so many pros to Shirkin. I mean, like, we could turn Shirkin into a palace. Yes, Almost, exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, and you've got the personal touch on top yeah. of that. Yeah, I mean, and that will just be for an hour. Finally, the call comes. What will be the top please? For your menu, we can do, say, your soup, your main course, your dessert, your tea and coffee, do wine with meal and your bar extension. And in total, that will be coming out at 6,600. Like, do you have any push on that price at all? I mean, if we would offer you 5000 for all that. 6600 would be the lowest that I can offer. Can Evie think about it? Yeah, leave us think about it. Okay. Okay, I'll bring you back. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, bye bye bye. Wait, that's well, well, well. 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 In Shidani's best offer is 6,600 euro for 100 guests, including the afters. And although almost twice the price of Shirkin, it has the high class treatment that Anor craves. Have you made a decision? Shirkin. I want to go to Shirkin. You want to go to Shirkin? Yeah, that's it. I want to go to Shirkin. Done. Jason's mind is made up. Anor's fairy tale wedding will be in a guest house on an island far, far away. But will it be plain sailing, or will his plans sink like the Titanic? Back at home, Anor doesn't like not being in control, and she'd at least like to know the basics. I haven't been invited to my wedding yet. I don't know when, I don't know what time, I don't know where, and that is kind of scaring me, simply because I have to get a child minder organised. <laughs> that hasn't even crossed his mind. Because now it's time to take the bridesmaids dress shopping and he's expecting stormy seas. They'd be very fancy, so I'm going to have to really work my magic on them and get them to go for something that's within budget, I reckon, you know. And Anor trusts her bridesmaids more than her groom. I trust these two to put him in line as much as they can. Jay will be just a little puppy when it comes to them anyway. No, look, we'll just go down and look at the dresses, all right? No. I'd like to no. maybe go for something purple. Green would probably be good on them, but it has to be sort of like royal green. Ew. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's my choice. You're trying it on. Is it long or short? Is a long dress or a short dress cheaper? They could end up being short. <laughs> Knowing Jay, they, they might be a little bit alternative. No, <laughs> really. Here's to remember I'm going to be a sister-in-law. <laughs> for the rest of his life, so he has to make sure I do look good. I think they're absolutely lovely. Not as good as the bride, but good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I really... Do you like that one? I still, I still think I like the, the orange one. Oh, yeah. stop it, you do not. Stop <laughs> the magic dragon. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just... <laughs> if their dresses were too short on the bridesmaids, I'd go mental. Decision time. And if in doubt, do what all men do. Check the price tag. No, so you're not going to... Oh, oh, you're going by price. Okay. Oh, hang on, some of these are on special offer as well. So that probably on special offer, that low one. This one is probably the cheapest. Either the low one's <clears> on special <throat> offer, I think. Oh, look at that. Orange dress wins. No, no, no. no Orange no, dress no, wins. No, 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 I pick, actually, no, I picked this one. I picked this one. I like that one. The girls have the dresses they wanted. But what Jason gives with one hand, he takes away with the other. If you get your own necklace... Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> OK, so you. I will get you the shoes and the other dresses. Jay! All right, I'd will to get the better shoe. All right. I'm okay. sure Nora will appreciate it. The thing to do it. for Nora, huh? I know. God, sisters. <laughs> the groom turns out to be more pirate than sailor. But blissfully unaware, all the bride can do is sit at home and dream about walking down the aisle. If only she knew where the aisle was. Oh, I'd love um, St. Finbar's Cathedral or something like that, because that's so beautiful anyway, to know, and it's so deep in history and classy. But Jason has opted for a civil ceremony. And this is where it will be. Yeah, that's the one, Rob. That is it. Oh, is God. It? It's, not, it's not what Anora was expecting to be married in, though. So far, nothing is what Anora was expecting. Now, Jason, this is the space. It's uh, certainly different. Okay. This is your aisleway up the middle. Okay. And then we have a long table right at the top, and we'll cover that in a white cloth. No, I just, like, I mean, we have to make do what we have. And I, I like the place, though, you know. So just five days to go, and finally some news for Anor, as she gets an invitation to her own wedding. Please open and play envelope. Then open envelope two, then open. Oh, he's so full of tricks! What's he done? There's three kisses on it and everything. Mm. I know. No. We love you and I hope the kids are okay. And Or, I finally got your ring. <laughs> Will you please marry me? Yeah.
box that I said you can now open it up and open it up. Which yeah. box? Love you. <laughs> Jason Boyd and Anora Brain. Ash, the question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Date 13th of the 10th. 12.30! It's a bit early. I don't know, he's beginning to prepare for With the clock ticking, it's time for the boys to get kitted out. But for them, even picking suits isn't straightforward. Yeah, because I'm supposed to be complimenting Anora, right? Yeah. Oh, was the dress I got Anora white or ivory? I think it was white. I think it was ivory. You think it was ivory? Yeah. Is there a way of checking? There's going to have to be. That, that can't, that, that's a mistake you can't make. You can't look oh, ivory and she's white. That looked terrible. Well, it's difficult. Mostly getting stressed out about just finalising the whole thing and getting the whole thing sort of gelling into the one, you know? I mean, we've got it all sparse around. It's just sort of getting the whole lot and bringing it in together into the one package, as it were, you know? Never knew so much went into it, but <laughs> never knew it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like whenever we started off the budget, we had a list of things that we thought we had to do, but they all kind of branch into everything else, you know? Most definitely. We'd be up at yeah. six o'clock every morning, just trying to get it finished, you know? Jason's quite a gopher guy, you know? But he, he can he lose interest in things very lively. But hopefully he doesn't get losing my daughter that quickly, you know? <laughs> It'll be the only one you have to do. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Never have to do it again. Well, <laughs> let's hope not. The cost of the suits was 525 euro, bringing the total to just over six grand. But he still has to think about flowers, cake, cars, music and photographs. Not to mention giving the hotel a five-star makeover. I, I, I know how we'll do this. OK. Right. It's the last weekend before the wedding, which can only mean one thing. It's time to party. Anor is a girl's girl, so champagne, limos, party dresses, cocktails, and a top-class restaurant, perhaps? How about a Matrix-themed evening? You are having? Would you like the pink pill? Or would you like the yellow pill? Go for the pink. What about a bitter pill? And that is not Keanu Reeves. OK, you've chosen a path of creativity. Let's go. To a destiny I don't know. <laughs> the men's theme is very original. A bar and booze. Yeah, we're having a great night. I've had a couple of drinks now, and I'm brilliant. Absolutely great. It's going fantastic. We've uh, hit three venues, I think, at this stage. Getting halfway is pissed. For Anor, things are looking up. A cocktail making class. <laughs> Just imagine it's Jason's head. But even after several shots, the responsibility still weighs heavy on Jason's mind. The invites are going out tomorrow. So I hope everybody can make it. But I'm not going to worry about that tonight. Tonight is the first night that I've been out for a drink since the whole thing started. Invitations? We're not going to send invitations. Jay's going to spend the next couple of days on the phone, giving everybody a call, telling everybody to invite everybody else, and hopefully that's going to work. The girls are finally having fun. We can't have that, can we? The Matrix is back. <laughs> OK, you've chosen a path that will test your in interferes. I'm not going to the I'm not going to the realm. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. 
In case Honor isn't scared enough at the thought of a man organising her wedding, Jason decides that a trip to the House of Horrors is just what the bride needs. I'm not going in there. I, I, he knows I'm terrified of, and I won't watch horror films. I won't touch horror films. I'm not going in there. I'm just not going in there. That's the end of it. Like. But it's the budget that the boys are finding scary. Dressing up the hotel is posing a massive problem. The material we wanted for the roof, for, for dressing out the whole thing, was actually coming in about a thousand euros. A thousand euros, we don't have it in the budget. We actually don't have anything in the budget. We're thinking maybe paper covering. Poor, poor Anor. I'm hoping that, uh, well not hoping, I know it will turn it into like a five star place. I can't wait for the big day. Jay is going to be very happy. Jay, you've done a good thing. You've really thought of her. Love you, Jay. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the ring. <laughs> and thanks for everything. And can't wait to see you. And I miss you so much. Still to come, drama in the dress shop. Relax. No, it's not all right, Mum. All right? The cake doesn't have sea legs. The top of the cake broke, aren't you? Room to improve in the bridal suite. Is that really tacky? And Anora's dream wedding hangs in the balance. Jason and Anor are getting married in just over 24 hours. He is planning every last detail of the day and she is completely in the dark. But Anor has very big expectations when it comes to her dress. It's going to get it wrong. She wanted OTT. Now she's about to see what Jason has chosen for her. Oh, nervous, I suppose. Nervous as well as um, excited as well, mixed emotions. So I suppose you want to see the dress? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> The dress is hugely important. You know, if you don't have the dress, then it probably would feel like everything is wrong. You come in with me now, Nora. Oh, yeah. the famous plane. Pod. Yes. <laughs> For the big reveal. I'm hoping there's sparkles <laughs> to make her feel like a princess on the day. Could you all close your eyes till I'm on the pedestal, please? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Eyes are closed. <laughs> Step forward a little bit. Tell us when. As you're in the middle now and you're safe, okay? okay. I'm letting you go now. Oh, you can't let like, it. We have to look before you. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. Take Sorry. it off, go on. You have to have a look. Oh. 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 Oh wow, that is Lovely. so gorgeous. I can't believe you got it so right. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm just I'm just so in shock. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're a princess, just I like know, you wanted. Yeah. I'm just so happy that you got the dress right. And I'm just I just need to see him now, to be honest. So but he's made one big mistake. So what about the shoes? Is there shoes? So the shoes she's wearing are the ch are the shoes that Jason chose. The style is beautiful. They are beautiful shoes, but the, they're too oh, big. The point in and the heel is too small. When you've got a skirt yeah. like that on. But the only thing about the heel being so small, you're going to be standing a lot of the time, and you will be standing. It doesn't matter. He's yeah. six foot odd. I'm, I'm up to his shoulder that, with that's heels. Fine. Relax. Yes. No, but, it's not all right, Mum. All right. The worst <laughs> thing would be is if, if you fall over or get your heels. Uh, uh, Mum. I can walk in stilettos. Yeah. I've been walking in stilettos all my life. Yeah. Last two days now, it's really, really hit. So it kind of hurts that I can't tell him that everything's okay. And then, uh, oh God, here we go again. Um, I said, um, that you know that uh, that he can just be there and just say, well done, Jay. You know, and uh, but it's well done, Jay. <laughs> well done. Jason's soon-to-be sister-in-law breaks the news that Cinderella's slippers do not fit. This bride wants to reach new heights, and for that, she needs heels. Shoes for an hour. What's wrong with the shoes? They're too low. She right. needs high, high shoes. And I thought they were high enough. No. Jay, you've seen the size of her stilettos. She needs to be taller. Yeah. She won't be happy unless she's taller. No, she won't. And you wouldn't want to be in Jason's shoes if he doesn't give Anor what she wants. Organising the wedding has hardly been a piece of cake so far, but now a new problem. How to get a wedding cake across a busy ocean in one piece. The top of the cake broke. Not a good start. 
Party, here we go. It goes like this. I so swear to God, if it's raining tomorrow, I'll go mad at it. I want it like this, you know? If we can, can put them all on the back of the van, Jay, if we can put one I can win. promise you that you'll be looking for new cakes. So, can Jason have his cake and eat it? Next, the wine, chosen by Jason's family. It isn't the percentage we thought we were going to get. It's five and a half percent. But at least all the people at the wedding aren't going to be too sloshed. It's very fruity. It tastes exactly the same as the white. It doesn't matter. It's a different colour. <laughs> They've tasted the wine, now it's time to design. As Jason has vowed to turn the Islander's Rest into a venue worthy of his bride. I know she wants five star, but she'll get it on the day. The day is tomorrow. <laughs> right, lads. We have a couple of sheets with us. We have a couple of bits and pieces. No. We're going to throw some petals on the bed and we can just do a few bits, you know. With a couple of sheets and a few ornaments, the boys release their inner Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Is that really tacky? Is that really tacky? Yeah. I don't know, you don't know about that. <laughs> She'd like to see that we've put a nice little personal touch on it. Everything about this venue, I've said from the beginning, is that it's full of the personal touch. Why don't you... Why don't we do like a four-poster bed? Yeah, exactly. Drape them out to the end Drape of the bed. Them out and across there, yeah. and yeah. back in. <clears throat> we can cut them in half and stuff. And That's about all you have enough for. Do you reckon? I'd say so, yeah. I think what Jay wants to do is make Honora's dream come true. And what girl doesn't dream of having three men dress her bridal suite? Jesus does. At least make it fit for sort of... I think she will have as much of a princess wedding as she can. She'll be tripping over herself with excitement. That's if she doesn't trip over the old sheets first. What about that sort of effect? Lovely. The bedroom is still more B and B than bride to be and the boys have a crisis on their hands. They still have two function rooms to transform into luxurious ballrooms. Okay. No, no. All right, man. The morning of the wedding arrives and Honor and the girls are up with the sun. Unfortunately, Jason remembered to book hair and makeup for all the girls. I'm going to get married. <laughs> I'm very excited. Yeah. Can't wait to see Jay again. Because I miss him. Broken sleep. Uh, I woke up and got six out of nightmare. My biggest fear is that I don't know where the wedding is. I don't know if it's near or far. If it is far away, then I know, because it's short, short notice for people, that people won't be able to get time off work. It's not just far away, it's overseas. But why worry about that when she still has no shoes and Jason is heading for Dunn's? Hello. Hello. There should be a light shining on <laughs> OK, right colour, wrong size. Do you have these in the size four? You may have it, so I just took it for that. Please, please, please say so you have it. Running around like blue ass fly looking for socks, I'd say. <laughs> Many a true word. Hey. One thing off the list, come on, so hand over as much with Joyce. <laughs> I find it strange that now, you know, your hair is having done, your makeup's done, there's actually nothing more for me to do. Throw on the dress. Throw on the dress. If only she had a dress. It had to be altered overnight and is still with the dressmaker. These were so glad we used her. No, but... While Jason struggles to get everything done in time, the girls begin the celebrations at the salon. Woo! A 
At last, the dress has made it. Here's Yay. your great day and well done, Jay. Yay. Well done, Jay. Yay. Well done, Jay. The clock is ticking, but things have to be put on hold. The groom and groomsmen need grooming. We have 15 minutes. I have to be gone out of here by 10 past. If I'm not going out of here by 10 past, I'm not going to make it to the church in time. Whilst the barber is cutting his hair, Jason is cutting it fine. But the girls are right on schedule. And Honor sees her flower girls and bridesmaids dresses for the first time. Oh, you look beautiful, my little girls. They're stunning. They're absolutely stunning. <laughs> I am absolutely shocked. Are you shocked, girl? Though, seriously. We were actually yeah, yes. so happy we with Jane's choice. We were so thrilled with it. And look, the purple and the flowers and everything. Ah, come on. Yeah. There's a woman in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and with just over an hour till the ceremony, the boys are still in the barbers. If we miss that slot, we won't be getting married. If the bride arrives before he does, she might be the first to leave. And the bridal limo is bang on time. Jason is beginning to panic. Am I wearing the right suit? He's all arms and legs trying to wear a waistcoat. Uh, well, I've thing inside out. Oh. Oh, is my hair okay? Grand. And a father gets his first look at his princess bride. <laughs> She's actually picked up. It's lovely, it's really lovely. And with just seconds to spare, the lads hit the road. But in the rush, have they remembered everything? We have the CD in my car. Give me a CD player. I can run back and grab it, will I? Run, run. No, no, I meant like it's in the BMW. That'll be the BMW in his mum's driveway, over six miles away. You got me the mark. The bride is on her way. Uh, and the boys are on the internet. Yeah, will go on instrumental. Just in time, the music is sorted. But now, there's something else. The candles are still in the back of the car. That's what I was just wondering, yeah. through the candles. Go, run, 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 run. Meanwhile, Honor is beginning to realise that she may not be getting her cathedral wedding. Did he get St. Grimbert's Cathedral? And the best man is AWOL in search of candles. He's the best man, like, he has to be, he's got the rings on him. <laughs> All right, it's 25 past. With an hour minutes away, Dermot gets back in the wick of time. Oh, legend. Candles. Oh my God, look at the flowers. Finally, Anora is about to see her groom for the first time in three long weeks. I'd like to welcome all of you to join with Jason and Anur in this, the celebration of their wedding. If you love someone, you will always be loyal to them no matter what the cost. All the special gifts and powers will someday come to an end, but love goes on forever. Who did you entrust your wedding rings to? Best man, Dermot. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> it's your moment to shine, Dermot. <laughs> <laughs> and Anor, Anor, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. That I would love and honor you. Today. And for the rest of our lives. And for the rest of our lives. Today and for the rest of our lives. So now it gives me the greatest of pleasure to officially declare you husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride. You gonna have fun there? Thanks, 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 Thanks,
I love you, baby. And Anor still has plenty of surprises in store as they head for the reception and the mystery venue. They might need that minibar. It's going to be a long journey. After just an hour of marriage, Anor is beginning to wonder what she got herself into and whether she or any of the guests are ever going to make it to the reception. Can I ask you one thing? Can you just let me in on one thing? So I can no. myself. No, Jay, it's on no, 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 no. Are it's any of my workmates there? What? Is any of my workmates going to be in the hotel? She will get your wedding. And as the weather begins to look stormy, the mood inside the car starts to follow suit. So far, Jason got away without the cathedral and got lucky with the dress. But will he get a frosty reception at the reception? And we're going to drive straight onto that pier where everybody is. As they approach the harbour, Anor finally spots her friends and family. Her very cold friends and family. <laughs> Seriously? No way! <laughs> and you're afraid no one's going to turn up for your wedding, were you? <laughs> Do you know where you're going? Well, if we're going on that, then we're obviously going to Sharkin. Yay! <laughs> she figured it out! Yeah. So, what do you call this? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. I knew there'd be a boat! <laughs> I'm gonna find your shoes! I never thought I'd be putting a life jacket on this way. <laughs> Jay, this is amazing. And while the guests travel on the ferry, the newlyweds get the royal treatment on their own private yacht. Well, wait for the boat, lads. Oh, look! <laughs> the newlyweds make it to Shirkin. And fortunately for Jason, Anor remembered to pack her sense of humour. Just married. I mean, who would have thought I'd be out here? I'm soaking wet, I don't care. I actually don't care. I had my guests. When I saw my guests, I was so happy. After that, I didn't care if I was going to get wet or soaked, because I knew there'd be girls there in hand with their hair straighteners. <laughs> don't kill me! <laughs> And although it may not be her five-star hotel, the bride still manages a five-star smile. Cheers. And the Islander's rest has been turned into a romantic love nest. The decor on the place has turned out an awful lot better than what I ever thought it would be. The owner, Mark, has pulled out all the stops. He heard about Jason's plans to travel in a dinghy and transformed his seabound pumpkin into a yacht. Thanks to Mark, we got the little extra of the 50-foot yacht and that really, really, really made the day. Mark also gave the bridal suite a five-star makeover. Jason had 10 grand, three weeks, and one high maintenance bride. He chose the last place that Anor would have gone for, and the result is a happy ever after for both of them. We're all brought here today for two very special people who are about to enter the room. So if everyone could please stand and welcome the room. Who has a 50-foot yacht? Who has a whole island to themselves? Who has a whole hotel to themselves? And who does that within three weeks? Jay. Jay did it within three weeks and that makes me the most proudest wife. I am a wife. The proudest wife 
ever. We are my. The boat is Jay. Mm -hmm. That is Jay. But he put everything else into her. He went five stars, he went ten stars. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have done what he did. And I had put my hands up. Could not, could not have done what he did. A lot of girls, when they do their wedding, and we mightn't think it, but we think it's my day. Jay made it our day. He made it everybody's day in celebration of us. My mum looks beautiful. I think he did a really good job, actually. Here comes the bride! Here comes the bride! <laughs> the biggest highlight of my day was seeing Anor walking up the aisle to me. I'm married! It's been a brilliant day. It's been bedlam, but it's been so exciting. I've just been amazed at what the three of them have got up to. It's fucking magnificent. <laughs> smell that, you smell that. It smells like victory. victory. <laughs> <laughs> he did a great job. It was fantastic. We're very happy. We obviously wish them a long and happy marriage. <laughs> and fuck it, I'll tell you one thing. I'm never going to do it again. It's enough for me. <laughs> We're married. We're married. I have a ring. That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> very bright. Bright. Yeah. The sun's not bright enough for our future. <laughs> You'll make it brighter though, won't you? <laughs> Has anyone seen anyone love someone as much as Jay loves loves us, like, you know? And God, I'm just the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs>